Good morning. If you are visiting today, we are thankful you are here. Please make sure to stop by the welcome desk in the lobby so we can meet you and present you with a gift welcoming you to Westgate. We will spend the next hour or so in worship singing songs of praise to God, reading from the Bible, speaking to our Creator in prayer, listening to a message inspired by God's Word, and reflecting on the sacrifice Jesus made for us during a time of communion together as we use juice and bread to symbolize the blood and body of Christ. Be sure to scan the QR code on the inside cover of the bulletin to submit connection cards and prayer requests and to find other pertinent information about Westgate. It is a great day to worship our God, and we are so glad you are here. Our next Westgate Together will be tonight for a time of worship, singing, and fellowship. We will sing together in the auditorium beginning at 5 and then enjoy a finger food fellowship in the gym beginning at 6. We are asking everyone to bring enough finger foods for their family and one other family. Our Westgate Together events this year will be held on a quarterly basis, but we plan to have other church-wide service opportunities throughout the year. We still have a number of members who have not completed a ministry commitment form for 2023. Even if you know the areas in which you are going to serve, the Westgate Shepherds are still asking you to fill out a form by clicking on the QR code in the bulletin. This information is important to the organization and planning of our ministries, and member participation is vital. Paper versions of the forms are available at the information wall in the lobby. We're asking each family member to fill out an individual form. There will be a youth and parent meeting Sunday, January 29th in the gym following the morning service. We're asking families to sign up and bring a side dish to share. See Devin or David or the Westgate on the go email for sign-up information. William and his wife Anne had two daughters who lived to adulthood, which was an accomplishment in itself since the life expectancy in 16th century England was less than 40 years. During his childhood, William attended grammar school and learned how to master reading, writing, and Latin. His two daughters, Susanna and Judith, never learned to read or write, however, which is surprising in light of the fact that their father is one of the most well-known writers of all time actor, poet, and playwright, William Shakespeare. Deuteronomy 6-7 tells us to impress God's commandments on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. No matter how successfully we set up our children for their future professional development, we will have failed if we have not provided them with the tools and resources they need to be faithfully committed to God. And while this is a heavy burden for parents, we as a church family all bear responsibility in playing our part in raising the children of the future in the ways in which they should go. May the Lord bless us as we set an example for the generations to come. Let's worship our God together. <laughs> 